welcome back to my channel Meals with Mills. In this episode I am excited to take you back to the famous Sizzler. Tonight's menu I'll be making millet chicken as well as uh, the famous cheese toast and the sauce. Before I start I want to express my gratitude to all those who have subscribed, have viewed my videos and have commented on uh, most of my videos. Thank you for the love and support. May God bless you all. Okay, let's start cooking. I will have all the ingredients available in the description box below, so please check it out. I will cook our chicken in the air fryer for about eight minutes and then I'll add the cheese and the ham. While the chicken is cooking away I'm going to mix the butter and cheese, garlic powder and a little bit of salt. The reason why I'm adding salt is because I'm using the unsalted butter. But don't add too much because the cheese is quite salty too, so um, just add a little bit. Okay, so add a little bit of cheese. Just add a little bit of the garlic powder and just a little bit of the salt. Okay, going to butter our toast. It's ideal to use a, a, a thicker slice of bread, but I don't have um, a thick toast slice of bread, so I'm just using whatever I have. Okay, so our toast is ready. So I'm going to make our sauce. I'm going to start with six tablespoons of mayonnaise so about one two three four five six six tablespoons of mayonnaise, any mayonnaise. I'm just using the Japanese mayonnaise. I will also add one tablespoon of sour cream. So about one tablespoon of sour cream. And I'll add about one tablespoon of mustard start with one teaspoon of honey first Okay, added our ham on top of our schnitzel. I will put our cheese on top. There you 
the kid. And then we will roast it again for another two minutes just to heat through our um, ham and cheese. And then we should be ready. The cheese toast, I will also cook it in the air fryer for about five minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Um, that will make our toast crunchy and round. So our toast is now getting toasted in the air fryer for about five minutes. At 200 degrees for about five minutes and that should make our toast really nice and crunchy and golden brown. Check it out guys, look how nice and golden brown. I'll leave it in there for a little bit longer then I'll turn it around. Okay. So my toast is nice and golden brown. Check out our cheese toast. So I'm gonna cook the rest and our chicken and then we are ready to eat. So everyone this is our cooking tonight going way back to Zizzler with a famous Malibu chicken and the cheese toast. I'm gonna get Enoch and Marina to taste our cooking and hopefully they'll give me some good rating tonight. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, just What do you think guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use this food. Mm -hmm. oh, cheese wow. Put some more yeah. sauce using this food. And some of the... That's going to be amazing. Oh, okay. Take your thing out too. Pretty good. You should try it with the sauce right now, it's really good. Mm. What do you think of the bread? Oh, I'll try the bread. Sorry about that. Mm. I'll try the schnitzel. Mm. Too dangerous. Too dangerous? Mm. <laughs> mm. Bad. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, too dangerous. I was yeah, just going with the chinos. Mm. Okay, I'm ready for my rating. So awesome. for the schnitzel, 10 out of 10. Really good. For real? Yep. <laughs> Mm. And um, the bread, cheese toast. Uh, cheese toast. Does it taste like um, sizzler or close to it? Yeah, except we have to use the thick slice. Mm -hmm. But I don't Nine have a thick slice. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a thick slice, so I'm just using the normal thin slice I had. 
It's okay. on your lips, right? Okay, let's okay. finish this. In all honesty, the schnitzel. Yeah, okay. Alright. In all honesty, I just gotta have I had to get 10 out of 10. Thank you, thank you. I got 10 out of 10. Snitzel, the snitzel's great. The ham under this um, on top of the snitzel and the cheese you know, gives a nice flavouring to it. And then also the bread to give it a balance as well. And even the sauce as well. So it's it's really good. Uh, Got to try this recipe and yeah, uh, yeah. Well, say thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Meals with Mills channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, everyone. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for visiting. Shout out to all our YouTube families and friends. Take care and be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.